Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and welcome back. Now, here at Stealthywood, I've had my help desk up and running for a while now. We've gone through some stuff, we've had tickets coming in, and that's pretty regular here at Stealthywood. Now, I know that my Stealthywood team is more than capable of providing excellent support, but I want to make sure my customers have as much info as possible before going to our support team. After all, if my customers can solve problems on their own, It'll save them a lot of time and frustration, and it'll save me money, and I like money. Now, it also has the added benefit as well of freeing up my team's time so that they can work on more challenging requests. Now, one way to do this is by providing help articles through the Knowledge app. Now, luckily, I can integrate the Knowledge app with my help desk app easily, which means that the information can be updated by my team members and shared to my customers. Or... And this is a big one. I can also create e-learning courses, just like the one you are taking right now for a little bit of that meta feeling. I can also design a course and it can address some of the most common issues my customers face while also providing additional value to the products that they've already purchased. But I don't just want to empower my customers to help themselves. I want them to feel a sense of community, brotherhood, mother, every type of hood and hopefully an investment as well in my company. And one way to do that is with the implementation of community forums. Now this will allow my customers to connect with each other and share ideas, opinions, and experiences. So enough chit chat. I've listed a lot of stuff we can do to build this community of uh, Odoers. Let's dive into our database. All right, Odoers, so first we're gonna need to enable community forums on our help desk team. So, from the main help desk dashboard that we have over here, click on these three little dots. It's going to pull up a very special menu, and this is the navigational menu. You've seen me do stuff to this before. Now, from here, we're actually going to select settings. And then once that this loads up, we're going to scroll down over here to the self-service area. And you want to select, you guessed it, community forum. Now that it's selected, you'll notice that another little field appeared beneath it saying forums. This allows me to select a specific forum for this team. I want to start from scratch. In our case, I'm going to name a new one. Customers. And the handy part about Odoo is it'll create it immediately. Beautiful. Perfect. Now, if I want to look at the settings for this form, I will have to head over to website application, which is this nice little big globe. We select that in there, go into configuration, and you'll notice there's a new place over here. That's right, it's the forum section. And just as an FYI, you are going to need the website app to use forums. But don't worry, if you don't already have the website app installed, enabling the forums feature will install it for you because we're that convenient. Now, we're over here back on the website, so it's time for me to show you a few different features here. So we're gonna select forums. And as you guessed it, we finally have one right here, the one that we created, customers. And we could do stuff to it. Now it's time to set the mode for this forum. As you can see right now, I can keep this as a questions and answers type of forum, but I can also change it if I wanted to. And in this case, when it's in questions, this is where submissions will be limited to one answer per question. But in this case, I want to switch this to discussions. Why? Well, because I want to encourage my customers to start a conversation with one another. The simple is just selecting it like that. Now, if you'll notice, I could also turn this as a private forum by selecting over here to signed in users. And the same goes for some users option. But I want all my customers to be able to search this forum for answers. So now that I'm thinking about that, I think I should keep this public. We want our knowledge to foster and grow. Now, there are other tabs for things such as karma gains. And these tabs pertain to something like Forum visitors could gain karma or lose it when interacting on the forums. And that's pretty simple. You know, asking a question gets you two. These numbers are arbitrary. You could pick anything here. Now, for those who don't know, karma points help visitors, you know, stay invested inside of the forums. Because who doesn't love earning a type of social credit? Now, they also keep users on their best behavior. Bad answers will get downvoted. And therefore, they will make you lose karma. And you don't want to lose any karma like right there when you're downvoted. We're actually going to make it horrible to get downvoted. Now it's minus... No, nah, actually, that's too much. You know what? Uh, if your answer is flag minus 1,000. Beautiful. You'll start at zero. 
And as you notice, popular answers will be upvoted and gain a lot of uh, karma over here. So we're going to do that to 100. We really want to promote this system. Okay, now that we have our new forum ready to go, let's fill it with some information to share with our customers. So in our case, we're going to go back over here to the main dashboard. And where are we going to help back over to? It's help desk and customer care team. In our case, we want to check out the tickets over here. And there we have it. There's the very first one. We're going to open this one. What's the best kitchen cabinet varnish for your home? I have a ticket here that I think my customers will be very interested in. Now, since a lot of people might have an opinion on this subject, because varnish is a very debated subject, this seems like an excellent opportunity for our customers to share their personal experiences with DIY projects such as this. Now, since this could generate conversation with many people, I want to add this to the forum that we just created and give our customers a chance to share their opinions. Now, as you can see, once that we actually enabled the forum option, you could see that this new button appeared up here. What does it say? It says share on forum. So let's click it because we always like discovering things together. And boom, we have a nice little pop up. Now, if in this window pop up where I can change the title in our case, if I wanted to change it to something else, I can also add stuff such as tags. If I wanted to add a new specific tag, in our case, I do the product tag and we're going to create it and we're going to do save. Oh, I forgot. You have to select a forum for this. Now, in our case, once this looks good, we're going to select the customers one, save and close. And everything looks good here now. So we're going to do create and view post now that we also have our tag. And you'll notice that Odoo then redirects me to the forum on the website so that I can actually see this post and I can see everything. And it looks like right now I have no karma, but that's fine. We can upvote our own stuff. Oh, no, it doesn't allow us to. That's too bad. But anyways, what we can see here is bird's eye view of how a customer is going to see it. I can also see all of the other options, such as I can see what it looks like when a user has some karma points. In our case, we have a little bit right there. Mitchell Admin. We're doing pretty good for our own. We could see our own posts. We could see stuff such as favorited ones. And if there are any posts that we are following at the moment, we can also see followed posts and get alerts as well. Now, let's take a closer look at this bell icon to the right of the post. Now, this icon is, you know, I just talked about how you can get alerts. And what that means is essentially if you're following one of these, you'll be alerted to any updates that may occur on that post. It should be noted that whenever you post a question, you will automatically be following it. Why? Because so that way you can get your answer and you don't answer or ask a ton of questions. Now, how do you unfollow a post? To unfollow one, you actually just click the bell icon right there and it'll unfollow the post. We won't need to do that in this case though, since we are eagerly awaiting responses to this post and we want to be notified when everyone is added. All right, now that we have the form all set up, Let's see how we can incorporate our e-learning module into a help desk team, shall we? And let's jump right into that. All right, so let's say you have additional content and information you want to share with your customers through videos or online classes. Maybe you want to fill noticeable gaps in knowledge or provide additional value to products and services that your customers have already purchased. Well, we can actually do that with the Odoo e-learning feature. Now, in order to do so, we are actually going to navigate back over to help desk. And it's the same old song, oh, do as we click on our little dots, go over to settings, scroll down till you're at the self-service section again, and check off that little box for e-learning. Great. Now, you'll notice a new field appear. Now, from this field, I am able to choose from all of the existing courses that are created through the e-learning application. In our case, if I hit this little button, it shows us we have options such as basics of gardening, taking care of trees, Trees, woods, and gardens, and how to choose your wood. Everything. Now, since I already have a couple in mind, I am going to choose basics of furniture creation and DIY furniture. Why, you might ask, oh, doers? Well, I think these will answer a lot of questions that stealthy wood customers have when they are putting together our products. And maybe we can even inspire them a bit with their own DIY projects, you know, taking a note from Ikea. Now, once we have made these selections and everything looks beautiful and actually scroll up to the top of the page and we're going to select go to website and boom, aside from our very beautiful, very professional website, as you can see, our help page is now populated with the community forums over here and a little button, ask the community. And we also have our courses. 
Select take courses. Ah, I always love seeing this when it works because it's beautiful. We have our courses and if we select on a course, we can see an overview of the contents. And since this was a public course, we can actually have joined it right now. And in our case, I've already enrolled because I am rushing to enroll. All right, forums, check. E-learning, check. Now let's finally talk about knowledge. All right, Adur, so you know the drill. We have to enable the knowledge app on our help desk team. So once again, we're gonna go in there, select our dots, and we're gonna go into the settings. You wanna make your way down once again to the self-service section and check the knowledge checkbox. And when you do that, you'll notice that there is now a new field where I can choose an article. Now, by default, Odoo provides me with a help article, which is super nice of them. Even so, the article will still need to be filled with all the necessary information I want to share with my customers. Now, for directions on how to do that and to learn more about all the cool things the Knowledge App can do, please check out our documentation, which will be linked below for your convenience. Now, in our case, I already added some info about Stealthywood, so let's see what we can do with it. So right now, we're going to go back up here to the top, save, and we're actually going to select our little ticket smart button. And ah, would you look at that? Somebody could use a whole lot of knowledge right now. Okay, I got this ticket from a customer who happened to have lost their instruction manual. No biggie, we've all been there. All right, I know I have answered this question before, so let's see if we can save any bit of time here in our case. And how would we do that? Well, and this is the very cool part. I can actually just click on the little knowledge icon up here to the top right of the chatter open up a nice little search window and I can type in, oop, I can type properly, instruction. And would you look at that? Now once I find the article I am looking for, I can click on it and look at that. Once again, not only is the answer right there, but thanks to this template box, I can copy all of this text over to a clipboard and I can add it directly to my response to the customer. Ah, that's a time saver, but that's how knowledge works for me and my team. Let's take a look at what my customer will see. All right, Odoer, so here I am on the Stealthywood website and I am a very happy customer. Now, if I go on over to the help side, look at that. I could see a few of the features that we showed off earlier. Actually, I could see them all. And if I'm a customer, if I wanted to, I can actually browse articles to search for documentation, or I can try my luck with the search bar as well if there's something that I want to see, like instruction. And look at that. Maybe I need some other help. And that allows me to see things. But you'll notice something. My customers will only be able to see the articles I want them to see. So that template from earlier, that one is just for my team. And just like that, everything I need is actually right there at my fingertips. Got my knowledge articles, my community and my e-learning courses all in one place. And that was pretty easy. So, just like you saw with everything, when it comes to support, sometimes it's not just about what my team can offer my customers, it's about what my customers can do for themselves. By encouraging customers to invest their time into solving their own problems, they're not only educating themselves, they're also part of the solution. It really is a win-win situation, no doers. Anyways, that's all for this video. Now, thanks for always watching. Have a great day, and I'd like to give a big shout-out to my boy Johnny. Have a wonderful weekend.